students in this class we are going to learn properties of numbers it is an important concept of number system what are those properties of numbers how many um, properties are there let us uh, learn one by one so let's get started from closure property of numbers so what do you mean by closure property after a mathematical operation if the resulting number belongs to the same set of number it is said to be closed under the particular operation that means after doing any operation whether it is addition subtraction multiplication or division we are getting a resulting number if the resulting number also belongs to the same set of number it is said to be closed it is said to be closure property it is the closure property let us take one example a and b are same set of number and the resulting number c d e f after doing the operation we are getting the resulting numbers and if the resulting numbers are also belongs to the same set of number it is said to be closed under the particular operation now let us understand by one by one number system first one is closer for natural numbers and whole numbers uh, already we have learned that all natural numbers are whole numbers so uh, together we have to uh, discuss natural number and whole number let us take this is one whole number set and in this set after doing operation let us check whether the uh, resulting number will also belongs to the same set of number or not here 6 plus 1 that is equal to 7 you take any two natural numbers or any two whole numbers after doing addition the resulting number also belongs to the same set of number also it is whole number so addition is closed for natural numbers and whole numbers now for subtraction if we are subtracting two whole numbers here 8 is subtracted from 7 the resulting number is negative 1 and negative 1 doesn't belongs to the whole number set so it is not closed the subtraction is not closed here natural number and whole numbers are not closed under subtraction for multiplication when we are multiplying any two whole numbers always we are getting a whole number as the product so multiplication is also closed here 1 divided by 2 1 and 2 are whole numbers when we are dividing these two whole numbers we are not getting always a whole number as the quotient here half is the quotient and half doesn't belongs to the same set of the number here closure for integers when we are doing addition for integers always we are getting an integer as the sum and when we are subtracting in before whole number and natural numbers we were not getting the same set of number but here in integer when we are subtracting uh, 8 from 7 we are getting negative 1 but negative 1 also belongs to the integer set so subtraction is also closed here next is multiplication when we are multiplying any two integers the product also belongs to the integer set but when we are dividing two integers we are not getting always integer as the quotient so addition subtraction and multiplication are closed for integers but division is not closed for integers now for rational number let us check closer for rational numbers this is the set of rational number here when we are adding any two rational number we are getting a rational number whenever we are subtracting any two rational number we are getting always a rational number when we are multiplying also we are getting a rational number when we are dividing this is one exception here when we are dividing any two rational number always the quotient is rational number but here only in one case whenever we are dividing by zero we are not getting any rational number set Uh, not a number uh, which belongs to rational number because one divided by zero that is not defined so we can say that here addition subtraction and multiplication are closed but division is not closed for rational numbers also so these are all about closure property now let's discuss for next property that is commutative property what do you mean by commutative property commutative property means 
this is the changing of order whenever we are adding any two rational number multiplying dividing any two numbers if we are changing the order and also we are getting the same result it is called commutativity so let us check for commutativity of numbers addition for all numbers when we are adding a plus b and we are adding b plus a we are getting the same result so it is yes now for subtraction a and b are two numbers when we are changing the order we are not getting the same result when we are multiplying any two numbers we are getting always the same result but when we are dividing two numbers we are not getting always the same result when we are changing the order so addition and multiplication are commutative but subtraction and division are not commutative for any numbers let us discuss now another property that is associative property for associative property let us take three numbers a b and c when we are doing any operation for more than two numbers we are making groups if we are changing the groups and also we are getting the same result that is called associativity let us check now for addition when we are taking three numbers a b and c here in lhs we have taken a and b first one group and in rhs b and c are in one group if the result is same then we can say that it is commutative so always it is yes for subtraction when we are subtracting three numbers a b c it is not the same result when we are doing multiplication when a b c are three numbers and doing multiplication if we are changing the order also we are getting the same result but for division also it is no whenever we are dividing by make, uh, changing the group we are not getting the same result so addition and multiplication are associative but um, subtraction and division are not associative for any numbers let us discuss now another property that is most important property and widely used property that is distributive property to understand this property i have taken one beautiful example here when two children are in home and ice creams are brought for you the ice cream you will get both here to remember this property you have to remember this concept now how it is used in um, numbers let us discuss distributive property distributive property says that multiplying a number by a group of numbers added together is the same as multiplying separately distributive property are of two types first one is multiplication over addition and second one is multiplication over subtraction let us discuss with example here when 4 and 5 added together and both are multiplied here 2 will multiply 2 will be multiplied each term inside the bracket here first 2 will multiplied with 4 then by 5 and then added together and here 2 and 4 are multiplied 4 and 2 and 5 are multiplied and added together we are getting the same result as when we are multiplying together 4 plus 5 9 both are equal this is distributive property how distributive property are used here distributive property are used to simplify here 5 into 34 34 can be splitted to make it easier 30 plus 4 so 5 is multiplied each term inside the bracket 5 is multiplied with 30 and also 4 and both the product will be added together that is 170 so to make it easier we are using distributive property now next is identity first one is additive identity additive identity means whenever we are adding a number to any number and we are getting the same result the result is unchanged that is the additive identity of the number that means 
zero. Whenever we are adding zero to any other number, we are getting the same result. So zero is the additive identity for any number. Another one is multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity means that number we have to think, and uh, when we are multiplying that number, we are getting the same result. Then we are taking that number as the multiplicative identity of any number. And what is that number? One. And one is the multiplicative identity because whenever we are multiplying one to any other number, we are getting the same result as the product. So zero is additive identity for any number, and one is the multiplicative identity for any number. Next one is inverse. Inverse means opposite. First one is additive inverse, and second one is multiplicative inverse. Let us discuss separately what is additive inverse and what is multiplicative inverse. Additive inverse means the additive inverse of a positive number is always negative, and a negative number is always positive with the same absolute value. Only the positive sign will become negative, and negative sign becomes positive for additive inverse. And one important thing is that the sum of a number with its additive inverse is always zero. So we can say that. Two numbers are said to be additive inverse of each other when their sum is zero. So any two numbers are said to be additive inverse of each other when their sum is zero. <coughs> For example, two plus negative two that is equal to zero, and here two and negative two are additive inverse of each other. Here a number line when you are moving here. Let us take one number two and how much distance? It is from zero. If we are moving opposite direction, same distance, we are getting the number inverse of each other, and their sum is always zero. Now, next is multiplicative inverse. For multiplicative inverse, the another number is another name is reciprocal. What do you mean by reciprocal? Reciprocal means whenever we are taking any rational number rational numbers means uh, here i have taken rational number because all natural numbers are rational numbers all whole numbers are rational numbers all integers are rational numbers so together i have taken rational number changing the numerator part to denominator and the denominator part to numerator that is the multiplicative inverse here let us take one rational number a upon b and its reciprocal is b upon a the numerator becomes denominator and the denominator becomes numerator this is these two are the multiplicative inverse of each other here when we are finding the product of these two numbers always we are getting one so we can say that any two numbers are said to be multiplicative inverse of each other when their product is one so these are all about the properties of numbers Hope you understood.